Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to Smile to Jannah. Now on the level, I thought I'd seen all the practicing famous celebrities who were proudly practicing their faith on the world stage. But I was wrong. I had not come across this brother right here, Khabib Narmadagamegov. Damn it. Narmagomedov. Khabib Narmagomedov. Everything God gave me. You become champion, this is not everything. You have to be greatest outside too. Like, I, I don't drink. Why don't you drink? I don't drink. Why don't you drink? I never drink. I'll oh, tell you, some booze are parties. I never drink. You're mad backwards. No. Khabib, uh, Assalamu Alaikum. And uh, Connor, congrats on uh, Proper 12. Yeah, you cannot say Assalamu Alaikum and congrats about whiskey. Nobody take this title before is uh, with Muslim. Muslim have like more than billion people, you know. When come Ramadan, this is everything for me. I don't think about fight because I believe in one God. Uh, this is my religion. Religion for me number one. Sport is not for me number one. Guys, the reason why I love this brother is because he's got a big fight coming up with Conor McGregor. Yes, Khabib has probably got money, cars, fame popularity, you name it. But still, Khabib is putting Allah and his Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam first. Why? If Islam was of no value, why would Khabib, despite having fame, because a lot of us push Islam to the side just to get the fame. Here guys, Khabib has the fame, but yet he's still clinging on to the deen. Why? Because guys, Islam is the petrol which drives the car. Islam is the oxygen which helps us breathe. Islam is the battery that powers the toaster. Bad example. And mashallah on this stage where if he talks about Islam, he's going to lose sponsors. If he talks about Islam, he's going to lose fans. If he talks about Islam, he's going to get mocked. But guys, he doesn't care. That's the beauty. But why is it that with our nobody friends at work, we're still embarrassed to practice the integral parts of Islam. We're still embarrassed to show them the true path. Why? Because we haven't experienced Islam fully and completely. May Allah give us the ability to experience it like our brother is experiencing it and remain loyal to this faith like Khabib is. MashaAllah guys, it's truly amazing. And another beautiful thing that I saw of our brother here was during the press conference he had with Conor McGregor. Now we all know Conor McGregor is a loudmouth and that's how they sell their tickets to the boxing matches. He'd done his research on Khabib with regards to the politics of his place Dagestan and the Chechens and also he knew about his family and also his religion as well as you could see him you know poking and prodding him with the alcohol. But Khabib mashallah displayed principle and patience and that mashallah is very difficult to do especially if the whole world's eyes are on you. So much respect to our brother right there. Guys, this guy is an absolute inspiration. May Allah give you and me the tawfiq to recognize the true essence of this faith because guys we have become robots just going up and down, up and down in salah, just reading the Quran but we do not derive the true light and the true juice and the blessing from these acts of worship. May Allah give us the tawfiq to do so and guys make dua for our brother. His match is coming up I think around October 6th. I'll be checking that out. Again I haven't been asked to promote anything but I don't watch MMA, I don't even understand the rules properly but I know our brother's there and I want to show him our complete support and until next time guys. Assalamu alaikum.